it going on guys, Moo here. Today I have the best budget beast in all of Madden Mobile, episode number four. In today's episode, we're gonna be going over the best budget beast, defensive ends, and the defensive tackles. Now these two positions are two of the most important defensive positions in the entire game, so you guys really wanna go pick these cards up and do them right now while prices are really cheap. If you guys do want to enjoy the video, you already know, go down and eat the like button, guys. Just literally eat the like button. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So we are going to start at the defensive end position because why not? I mean, defensive ends may be the most annoying cards in all of the defense in Madden Mobile. Like, you know, I hate when I'm on offense and all of a sudden I'm trying to pass the ball and the defensive end sprints down at 100 speed and sacks the quarterback. It's so annoying. So you guys really want a good defensive end and there's some really good statistics on defensive ends so for the defensive ends guys we're gonna start at the golds of course and we're gonna start at the speed position so the fastest and the quickest and the speediest guys you gotta you gotta put in the speediest gold uh, defensive end is none other than Cornelius Washington I'm pretty sure it's not Cornelius uh, I'm pretty sure it's Cornelius Washington but yeah guys definitely roast him in the comments if I'm not pronouncing his name right but he's on the Detroit Lions 78 overall team of the week Right now, he's really cheap, and he's got 80 speed at base, 75 excel, and 81 strength, 75 block shedding, 75 power moves, and uh, 72 awareness. All around, a really, really beastly card, and you can literally pick him up right now for 15k, and you can probably snipe him for about 10k, maybe even cheaper. Cornelius Washington, um, but yeah, if you actually train him up as of right now, and you fully max him out, he will literally have 98 speed. Uh, once that boost goes away, he'll have 90 speed. Absolutely speedy, and yeah, definitely a must pick up in my opinion. So now we're going to go to the block shedding card for the defensive ends. So for block shed, uh, basically you block shed basically is going to break your offensive tackle, get past them, and get to the quarterback. So you want a good combination of speed and block shed. Now coming in at number one for the best gold block shed, we have none other than my man, the myth, the legend, Daquan Jones. Yeah, I know Daquan, uh, not the most normal name, but I'm not going to say anything because that could go uh, that could go south pretty pretty fast. But yeah, Daquan Daquan Jones pretty slow. He's only got 54 speed, but he does have 73 excel. Which should, which should help out a little bit more. Uh, that 73 Excel will make him probably more about a 70 speed defensive end. So he'll be faster than you think. He's also got 81 block shedding, which is really, really nice. And 80 strength and 82 tackle. So he's not going to be missing that sack anytime soon. A really good card, in my opinion. So now we're going to head over to the all-around best gold defensive end. This is a mix of block shedding, uh, speed, power moves, awareness, tackle, strength, you name it. This card has it. So coming in at number one for the best all-around gold defensive end, we have none other than Dante Fowler Jr. of the Jacksonville jo uh, Jaguars, a.k.a. Saxon. Jacksonville, my, my team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the Jaguars 7-3 right now. They should be able to beat the Browns and go 8-3. Really happy right now with their season. But uh, Dante Fowler's got 78 speed, uh, 82 acceleration, so really, really fast. And he also has 77 block shed, 77 finesse, 71 awareness, 78 agility, 78 tackle, you name it, he has it. And yeah, guys, let's slide on over to the elite cards because, you know, who doesn't like a good elite defensive end? So we're going to start at the speed position because you guys already know speed is key. Um, so yeah, at the speed position, coming in at number one for the fastest, the quickest, and the speediest elite defensive end, we have none other than my man, Cameron Jordan of the New Orleans Saints, the high-flying New Orleans Saints. Uh, Cameron Jordan has 85 speed, 80 acceleration, 79 block shed, 78 power moves, and 80 awareness. All around this card is super, super beastly. And with huddle packs out in the store right now, he's only about 200K. He's super, super cheap. Definitely pick him up if you have the coins. So now we're going to head over to the block shedding defensive end. And this card is actually a really good all-around defensive end as well. So coming in at number one for the best block shedding uh, elite defensive end for under 300K, we have none other than Trey Flowers, 83 overall of the New England Patriots. He's got 70 speed, which is pretty good. That 82 acceleration will make him seem like he's got about 78 speed, so really good there. He also has 84 power moves, 80 strength, 80 awareness, 81 tackle, and 82 block shedding. This is one of my more favorite cards in this entire video, and he just is an all-around a really, really nice card. So now moving on to the all-around best elite uh, defensive end, in my opinion. Now this card, uh, there are reasons why I put this ahead of 
uh, the, um, what's it called, the tray flowers, but it's very close. So coming in at number one for the best all-around gold, uh, not gold, elite defensive end, we have my man, my, uh, not my dog, my man. Sorry, I don't know where I was going there, but not my dog, not my cat, not my squirrel, not my ferret, uh, not my ferret. Uh, but yeah, none other than Cliff Averill of the Seattle Seahawks. 79 speed, 84 XL, really, really fast. 81 power moves, 89 finesse moves, which is really, really nice. 85 awareness and 73 block shed. This card's going to seem like he's got 82 speed off the edge, and he's going to have some really good finesse moves. So uh, he, he's definitely going to be able to get to your quarterback pretty, pretty fast. So now moving on to the defensive tackles. So for the defensive tackles, uh, we don't actually have block shedding for the defensive tackles. These are not going to really be block shedding. Uh, but we're actually, no, we are going to be using block shedding. My bad. We're not going to be using, uh, what's it called, speed for the defensive ends because uh, defensive tackles are really just not fast. And there's really no point in having a fast defensive tackle. You want block shedding and all around. So coming in at number one for the uh, not the fastest, the best block shedding, uh, gold, uh, what's it called? Actually, no, for the golds, we don't actually have any block shedding. Just for an elite, we do have an elite block shedding. But for the golds, we're just going to do three all-around really nice ones, starting from three, heading down to one. So the number three for my all-around favorite defensive tackle of the golds is none other than Solomon Thomas, 78 overall D tackle of the San Francisco 49ers. You can get either his base card or his NFL 24-7 card. They're not very different. But um, this 24-7 card has 77 speed, 80 acceleration. So actually a really, really fast defensive tackle. He also has 88 strength, which is really, really insane. 71 block shed, 71 finesse moves are pretty below average. But hey, it's, it's a pretty good de defensive tackle. And that's why he comes in at number three. Coming in at number two, we have my man of the Jacksonville Jaguars, 78 overall, Sheldon Day. This card was on my team for a while, not because he's fast, but I really liked his block shed, acceleration, power moves, and tackle. And that is Sheldon Day. I think I, think I already said that. But yeah, Sheldon Day has low speed, but he's got decent acceleration. So he's going to feel like he's more like at a 70 speed, maybe 75 speed uh, defensive tackle. He's got 78 uh, tackle, 77 agility, 75 block shed, 75 power moves. And all around a really, really nice card. And now my favorite all-around gold uh, defensive tackle. We have 79 overall Dominic uh, Easley. I think it's Dominic. It might be Dominic. Well, I'm pretty sure it's Dominic. Dominic Easley of the high-flying uh, St. Louis Rams. Not the St. Louis Rams. They moved. I'm pretty sure they moved. I don't remember where. Uh, Los Angeles Rams. That's what it was. But he's got 69 speed, 75 excel. So he's going to be like... 73 uh, 73 speed off the edge not off the edge i mean off the um off the line he's got 75 power moves 76 block shed 70 finesse 75 awareness and 74 tackle as well as 76 strength all around a really really nice card and that's why he's coming in at number one for the best gold all around uh defensive tackle i almost said tight end i don't know why but now we're gonna head on over to the elites i'm gonna start at the all around because that's what we were just working on and then head to the uh the block shedding one so coming in at number one and the only one for the all-around best elite defensive tackle, we have my man Malik Jackson of the Jacksonville Jaguars, a.k.a. Saxonville. Malik Jackson, an absolute beast. He's got 70 speed, 77 XL, so he's going to feel like he's got 75 speed off the line. He also has 81 power moves, 75 finesse, 79 block shedding, 82 awareness, 84 tackle, and 76 strength. This is actually a really, really nice card. If you can, if you can afford him, definitely go pick him up. An absolute beastly card, especially when trained. And that's why he's the all-around best elite uh, defensive tackle for under 300k. And now for the best block shedding defensive tackle, we have my man. Actually, no. Why did, I, why did I just say my man? Because I literally hate this team. I literally hate the New England Patriots. And coming in at number one for the best block shedding defensive tackle, we have Allen Branch. I hate the Patriots after what they did to the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. But yeah, Allen Branch, a really beastly card. He's got really bad speed. He's going to feel like he's got maybe 68 speed, give or take a few, um, when he comes off the line. So not too fast, but he's got 84 strength, 83 block shed, 83 awareness, 77 power moves. Really, really good card. Uh, he's got 83 block shedding, which is absolutely insane. And he's not too expensive. He's only about 200k at max. And yeah, guys, that's basically going to wrap it up for the video. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Those DNs are going to be absolutely glitchy if you add them to the squad. The D tackles will just add on uh, to a great pressurizing defense. I don't know if that made sense. Pressurizing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a science term. Not sure why I said that in Mad Mobile. But yeah, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be...
probably be an all-around god to head to head and league versus league or it might be a bottom to the top episode number four and i'll see you guys in the next video peace